Um, uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, we are blessed by God through this another Sabbath hour that uh, He gave us the safety, the blessings that we need. Yes. The blessings that we had during these weekdays. And um sabi na sa mga mga kids na I really am not comfortable whenever I speak and we don't pray. We like to ask everyone to, to please pray with me. And before we pray, shall we sing Holy Spirit of God? Are you familiar with that song? Holy Spirit of God. Can you sing with me? Okay. We bow our heads and then let's close our eyes and we sing this song. Let's sing. Holy Spirit. Ingat eh, Allah, nama ni hukum sekarang ini. 
Pati kamu gawa ni, eh? Mau beli kayu? Samunga jeneng gawa ni, eh? Pero apa masih tip tip persis? Helah, nari bungkus gawa ni ni. Ha, naik gawa ni, pui di mana ni naik gawa ni? Pangtrabin. See? Now, ada tip tip persis saya saya guys. Mumpai saya telefon. Di kompas saya telefon kan tak jadi hanya orang yang pergi ke sini. Jadi nama mana dia mahu pak? But a positive person says like this Kung palit ko barato Total, ang cellphone Pwede lang mong katawa O text na 500 Ang dilindan mo ko ba at ang pingan See? There are just two people Now, natin give Gihatag sa ginoo Na asa ko ha if it is positive or negative Let's talk about the first gift Can you please read The gift of failure Pena. People learn to think that we always need to look and aim for success. Success is done. We have to want to success and success, success and success. But by the time we talk about failure, we don't want to be talented and happy. We don't feel you. Tapat din ang mga fail. Tapat din ang mga fail. What about the money? 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 Look at the the. Statistics of the students who had suicide these days. It is getting higher and higher and higher. Why? Because we install in our mind success, success, and don't talk about failures. By the time the student got failure grades, ang gisug sa mga dili mo papasawa. Sigi, 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 sigi. Study, sigi, study. Focus on success. You can learn. Tasa mo nado. Successful. Kung gawain mo nado, baksa. But there are many people outside. Na wala kung what's me na pero successful in terms of ano? My point is this: basa dili tama install, basa dili tama orient in a fit in failures. We tend to to talk about balang yung failures. No, wala nang sa mga moto ng failures. Then the by the time na mawapot ang failure, dako kung hulo ng soul. Success ang gusto natin. Pag abot sa failure, pa. Suicide rates are getting higher. Friends, in life, success and failures are what? Partner lang sila. Someone smiles says, we learn wisdom from failure more than from success. We often discover what we will do by finding out what we will not do. And probably, he who never made a mistake, never made a discovery. Katong bata po, Sol, gingan ko daan niya, ayaw ko niti ng platsa. Ayaw niti ng platsa. Kaya nang platsa, Sol, gawa ko ng platsa. Gawa ko ng platsa. Pag-isak-sak niyo mo, diritsyo sa init niya, pagkating inita doon. Wala niyo ko ko ba? So, nanatsa ito ang father, then yun, ayun yung bulita ang natsa, ha? Ano ko eh? Okay, well, kami lagi, kuwan, patakabalo, patakalor. Di bulita ang mga natsa, so, pag gulit sa natsa, mga di, ni aso na kung mga ako papa, agoy pwede na nalagay sa kita. Di ka alam sa gawas. Pag tanong yung bubang manol, after ako na tayo, isa pag ulaan ang natsa, so, di na nang bulit. Why? Because I learn. We often discover what we will do by by finding out what finding out what we will not do. And probably he who never made a mistake never made a discovery. Mark Jackson, are you afraid to fail? Why not dare? What do I want to do? I didn't want to do anything. I was just afraid to fail. No. Why not go ahead? Do you know? Then, if we fail, then let's get the lesson. Look what Thomas Edison has said. Once to dejected or sad assistance of Thomas Edison said, we just completed our seven chat. Seven hundred experiment. Because seven hundred experiment. And we still don't have the answer. We have failed. Anna Edison, no difference. You haven't failed. It's just that we know more about this subject than anyone else in life. What the hell are you doing? Because we are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. More than others. What is it? 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 
eksperimen. I think it's bal, tama ba? Bal, or eksperimen nila bal. And we are closer to find the answers because now we know 700 things not to do. Don't call it a mistake. Call it education. Call it education. Mga kids, mga natin mga failures of our past, pili na mo down ako. If you're a positive person like Thomas Edison, those are just lessons. Kaya kung wala ka ikaw ako, di mo kami mong ikaw ako. Di mo kami mong ikaw ako. Kung once hayahin yung kinawin na ko, ang muna. Okay? Do what you feel in your heart is right. For you to be criticized anyway. Mga kaya siya. You'll be done if you do, and done if you don't. Get in your response. Mga kaya siya. If God tells us to do something today, do it. Why? Kung di rin ka mamuha, maaang yung gusto mo yan ni mo. Kung mamuha mo ka, maaang yung gusto mo yan ni mo. Tama ba? Maaang yung upor. So do it anyway. Mura kaya po na, Kapag i-illustrate lang sa nila yun, no? Nagkakaya ng illustrations. Be thankful of criticisms. They are your, they are my mirrors. May nilisensya sa mga nasa, ay, kung ano naman naman na, may nakatabi. I-reflect sa mga nabi. Di mo, baka naging game on. Kung tinaw na yung game on, then change. Pero pag reflect natin yung son, baka may criticism din eh. Nabi, tama ka rin. Kung mali yung criticism, then go on. Don't pause. Go on. If God has given you this talent, God given you this job, then do the job. Go on. The gift. What's the gift number one? The gift of failure. Ko dagan pag failure is on. Sa kila, it's just a lesson. Be positive. All right. Second gift is the gift of poverty. So, gift din yung poverty. You know, poverty, actually poverty gives us a lesson. Poverty means deficiency or shortage or insufficient. Nga naman yung song, by the time na daghan yung kakwata, murag walas na ka din yung walas na na rito. But by the time na wala kay kwata, pipita rin yung pipita rito. Tama ba? Look at this businessman na. Katong mga businessman na ka ng Maayo kayo pag nila na swata, hindi ka na sa sati. Lison. Sa lison. Kung saan ang pag-budget, hindi ka sa ginagmayang ka ngayon ko. Pero kung itong mga students o mga tao na nag-andalan pag mata pa lang sa mga mata, huwag ka na na, then huwag ka ng lison. By the time na mabangkrat ang negosyo, di ba ang mag-lison sa mag-pangkrat? Why? Because poverty is a gift. But we people think only in money matters. Muna manigat tayo sa mundo, kung ako po tayo, kung ako po tayo, kung ako po tayo, no! Why? Because there is still, there is still spiritual gift. Napatay spiritual, kung ako po tayo, kung ako po tayo, what's fine? We are plenty well provided of materials in spiritual aspects. And we have also plenty of materials for, what's fine, emotional aspect. That kind of mga kids, unan, di rin lang tayo po tayo lang. We have, we have friends. Companionship. We look at people as money and nowadays. Kung wala yung patagdaro kayo. But no. They are gifted people of God. Die in the cross. Christ died for them. Let us not look only in the what? Some money itself. Look also in the other aspects of life. Spiritual, mental, physical. Physical is what? Ang sama rin ang balta kung masakit pa naman. O sa inegative na rin pagkating yan naman, oh, wala kayo pa naman. No, God will provide all my needs. And if God will provide all our needs, okay, if God will provide all our needs, then Billy Lee said, when you are rich, think about the times when you are poor. But my God shall supply all your need according to His riches. In glory by Christ Jesus. So the number one is what? Gift of 
failure. Number two, gift of poverty. Number three, gift of disease or death. Then the next one, wala sa original na plan sa ginoo ng gift and any disease or death. The plan of God is eternal life. Kuna mo ang hindi matay. But look how positive God is. Give us a negative aspect. The Lord makes it to positive. And every negative aspect, there is always a positive. Tama ba? Classy enter into the world and death comes. But the Lord made death a positive aspect. Just to say for example, nagsigil ang aguroy ang isang katao na nasa ima. Agay! Agay! Sinagroy! Di ba mga imon siya? Mga imon ko nga, Lord, gikapulin ako. Lord, gikapulin ako. Please, waan ako. Death or disease, our death is also a blessing. But what about this disease? Ganun ko yung disease? Ganun ko give me my disease? Mga kaisunan, kasagalan sa tao ko ang kalimang pagino ko. Huwag makinulong lang kung nanay sakit. Kasagalan na din na. Sa liha, kasagalan na nanay sakit, gino ko. Kung ayawa na po, ang halaga na po niyo. The Lord is a positive God. Why won't we be so positive as well? But let us not wait na mausa. Ma, public tumagas sa kita, ay hapatago, follow my God. But tendency, lang yun sa people, is that muara ka lang sa kino kung nanay sakit. Tama ba? Some and God makes this as a positive way. Look at it as a positive way. It is the key of disease. And once galing na nanay yung disease na kita yung maayon, Death is a friend. Friend, hindi mo na ang kamatayan. Kaya kung tawa mo yung kamatayan, hindi doon yung mamatay ng pano, kaya ang makapahulay na ko. Ano man? Sometimes we don't talk about death. We are afraid to talk about death. And we don't talk about diseases. We don't talk about this. But these are not negatives. These are positives, mga kaisunan. Talking about this kind of things is a gift from God. Though the answer is that we have to put God considered it as a gift to us. And let us not wait. Na pwede mo na give niya at pwede mo delay, no? Pero ilang buta na din at hindi niya mahatag sa tuwa. Pero kung maapot niya sa tuwa, so consider it as a gift. Kasi lang ay kita kung bawat siya na yun to help for herself. Nasa sa akin. But the Lord let it that way. Why? To humble herself. There's always a reason. Ayaw ka pala. Kaya kung namin mga handicap, mga problema, it is a gift in other way around. There was once a wise old man, na historic son, who lived up on the top of the mountain. Usa pa na siya kaso, ganun gift po na disease or na sakit. Whenever the villagers had a problem, they would climb up to the mountain and ask the old man for advice. At ito dito sa bukit, na yung wise man dito, na yung tipula dito. One day, a young man who could be considered successful by the sunlers of the day decided to climb up and ask the old man a question. Wise man, wise man, he asked. What makes a man truly great? The old wise man looked at him and said, Do you really sincerely want to know? Yes, yes, the young man said. Well, The old man said, let me tell you in the form of a story. Kung may isang bata na gusto, yung tao nga gusto siya makabalo, kung saan yan ang great na tao, no? There was once a great man who suffered from deadly disease. Knowing that he was soon going to die, he was the first to join the army when his country was in battle with their enemy. So it's all. Nakasin yung deadly disease, ah, mamatay mag yapon ko. Mujoy ko sa army. Kaya kung mujoy ko sa army, bahala ka ng langay rin. Okay? Hoping to die in the battle. Mamatay ko ko sa battle. Yan ay is mamatay siya sa battle. He would fight and fight and fight, exposing himself in the front line without any worry for his life. Kung naya lagi, the front line niya siya. No? Kung sa chest pop, pun niya siya pun. Primitive ako na. Finally, when the battle was won, the dog na battle na muman ang war. He was still alive. His general, 
so impressed with his bravery, which contributed much to the victory, decided to promote and award him with medals of bravery and honor. Ato ni matagal medal ito pala rin. On the day of the presentation, he was looking very down and sad. Pero tignan niya, this money, money, down ko siya. Tapat na matay ng buta. Kung ano, wag nyo ko na matay. Curious, General asked for the reason why and was told that he had this deadly disease. How could he allow such a brave soldier to die? So yan yung buhat, nangita siya o best physician para ma-cure niya ang soldier. And finally, cure the soldier of his disease. Naayon ang soldier. But from that day onwards, the ones who found that soldier was no longer seen at the front. He always avoided danger and tried his best to protect his life instead of risking it. Katong may sakit, kung katong ang pakamatay. Katong naawa may sakit, kung katong ang gilin ang pakamatay. That's life that the wise man said to the young man. And the wise man said to the young man, Young man, if you want to be truly great, you must not be scared of dying. You must stay to be. Okay, so then, disease is also a gift and a positive one. Kung ano yung isakit, ha, may na po. But I am telling everyone now, wag ko na ikon na magkasakit, ha? No, I'm not telling that one. What I'm telling is, whether na may sakit or wala, life is still one. Positive. Okay, next one. Come to me on your labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Go to Christ. The gift number four. Seven of them in the gifts is on. Kung gusto mo mo tayo, anak ako ha? Kung gusto mo mo tayo na, anak lang, mo tayo ako. Barang five or six pa. Mila. Number four. The gift of enemy. Unsa mo mo na? Ano na po tayo na gift of enemy? Gift of enemy. Matthew five eleven says. Blessed are ye when men shall revere you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sin. Mga kids na, may naman. Kaya sa tihara na ay kalaban, mga kabalong usak, no, so many. Be happy to have enemies. Beware of fake friends. May tutura na kay kalaban, may naman. Mga kabalong mga kalaban, may naman kalaban. Unang result, ito naman, di ka kabalok ka na sa atay ko. But they're true friends. My point here is this. No big cell or little experience to one. Pilot turbulence. Physician trouble or death sa iyang kusama. Pasyente. And there will be no Christians that there is no great Christian that cannot fail by us. Mga kayo sa atay. Kung na kayo ay ni It is a gift of God. Besides negative things, so it is a gift. We have one. Why? It helps us to. Kung sa mga mga ako, no. And it is on you, kung sa mga pagdating nana. Character is molded by trials, mga kaisnan. James, one more. Gift number five. Gift of choice. And even God cannot choose for you. You choose your own. You choose your own destiny. Now, the next one is either to forgive or not to forgive. That's your choice. It's either for you to move on or to stop lang ka. Sa iyong enemies, it's up to you kung iyong dutan or dili. Di ko kakaino na, tungkol sa iyo, huwag ko na langit. And I heard somebody says that, nagingon ba nga, ah, total, ma-impermo ka. Ah, total, ma-impermo ko. Dan ko na, ah. <laughs> but it is your choice and my choice. Do not let anyone bring it to hell. Dili ka kayo mga tungod mga niya. Ay pera ko. No. It is our choice, mga kaysman. This gift of choice is your choice and my choice. It's a gift for you to be positive or negative. The gift number six is one is the gift of prayer. What's the gift of prayer? Ano man? Take time to pray. Why? This is the church's greatest deficiency. A powerful church has leaders who make prayer a part of priority. If we take careful look, we need 
where the cross of probation is there. This is the first time. This is the first time. This is the And I do believe, when the cross of probation is there, that the wicked will not pray no longer, but they will first time. And those who pray are the wise people, or shall we say, the good people of God. Okay, so then, let us not make a decision that we need to pray to God. Let us pray to God, because it is our name. In mercy to the world, Jesus delays His coming. The sinners may have an opportunity to hear the warning and find in Him a shelter before the wrath of God shall be poured out. Great controversy. Four, five, eight, one, eight, two, nine. And I just say, Google, Google, you know, no. He delays His coming for you. Kung wala ka, wala ka na delay sa all. There are many people who are not saved. And how to reach out people? First, reach out in our family. Personal. Mag pray personally. And it's a gift. The last gift is the gift of life. So many gift of life. We are destined to die, to die. But the Lord give us the gift. This precious gift, mga kaysa na. How loving our God is. Na hindi hatag a life for you and me. Then if there is a gift, are we going to give it away? This life? Most of the people who are in the world, they are not going to give it away. They are not going to give it away. Because the gift of life is the salvation itself, mga kaysa na. It is the salvation itself. So good ba tayo sa all na tumuhon sa atong partatik ng langit? So good ba tayo sa all tumuhon sa atong mga kalawan? Tumuhon sa tabi pang doktan? Tumuhon sa tabi pang storya? Dili ka ba langit? Are you, are we okay with that? This gift is a precious gift that God will, God did give us. Let us not waste this gift. And at the time comes, the Lord says, Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. And whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Mga kaya siya ng kung ako, kung hati na ang isang pao. Sige. Kung baga, by the time you come na, we will be forced to deny our faith. The Lord says, if you, if you seek to save your physical life, you will lose the eternal life. But whosoever shall lose his life, which is a physical life, shall preserve the eternal life. One thing to that, don't let anyone get this gift of life from us because it is the precious gift that we must have. So don't give number one, give up failure. Number two, give up poverty. Number three, give up disease or death. Number four, give up enemies. Number five, give up choice. Number six, give up prayer. Seven, the give up life. Seven is the perfect number of God. List these seven prayers and tell this to the people you wanted to have. Have a positive outlook in life. Have a positive way of life. And positively, we will be with you.